what is up guys and welcome to my channel and for another build for stranger paradise and today's build is absolutely crazy as in the damage is so ridiculous that you can one shot nearly every single enemy in the game even bosses will get one shot cause your axe is able to hit the max 999,999 damage so full 100k damage with each attack it is even more powerful than the previous build that I had made on the breaker which deals similar damage but this one is a lot more consistent and more powerful than the breaker. The damage from this build can go beyond 100,000 if the damage cap wasn't there. So maybe if the DLC increases the damage cap then this build will be even more powerful. You can take out nearly every enemy with one shot. It does require a little bit of setup and the attack is pretty slow to execute. So your positioning and your timing will be important. I still have other options for this build for all those smaller enemies that move really fast and you may not be able to hit them very easily with that one attack. So let's get right into the build. Alrighty so firstly the jobs we are using is a dice dragoon class on the dragoon job and the shadow master class on the ninja job. Once again ninja is mostly used so we can easily get your max MP at the start of every fight and to get all your buffs as well as using one of your tools which will allow us to tank 3 attacks from the enemies. If you've watched any of my previous builds then you'll know exactly what a furnace you will need on a ninja. These are 400% void knight so you can get really cheap command abilities. 250% on your samurai to get bonus damage on chain cancel. At least 120% on your summoner so we can chain cancel to reach max MP. And finally at least 120% on your white mage so we get longer buff durations. That is once again all you need for your main ninja job. So now let's have a look at a main dragoon. We are going to be using the Dice Dragoon class for this build and this class is going to make your jump ability all the more powerful. The larger the distance you cover before you land on the enemy the more damage you will do. This ability is really amazing on the smaller enemies as you can easily dodge a lot of the attacks on the ground and easily jump your way onto the enemies regardless of the distance you are. This just makes killing a lot of the smaller enemies much more easily. This ability is also the reason why we are using the Dragoon job. If you wanted to focus more on the axe itself and get even more damage you could go into Berserker or even the Dark Knight. But since we are already hitting the max damage cap you don't really need more damage on top of it. The jump ability on the Dragoon is just great for carrying out any mission in the game. There are quite a few affinities we need for this build and all of them are really important. One being the breaker. You don't have to get 400% but if you do then it's great to have. But you will need the breaker to at least 250% to get the bonus strength stats. We will need 400% on our Dark Knight so we can have our near death effects active all the time. This will give us a big boost in damage from all our near death stats. Then we get 250% on our Marauder. This will allow our charge attacks on our axe to go up to 4 times instead of 3. This is really important as the 4 charges will boost the damage significantly. Then we also get 250% on our Dragoon. This will allow us to easily soul boost the enemies if we kill them with our abilities. It's with this that we can soul boost all enemies that we kill with any of our abilities both from your axe as well as your dragoon jump. Then we get any other affinity that gives you bonus strength, agility or stamina. Now let's have a look at the weapon which makes hitting that 100,000 damage possible. That weapon is the giant axe. Any variation of the giant axe, the Beluvula or the Badachi would be fine. What you need on the weapon is the furious blow skill. It can only be found on one of these weapons. This is the skill that can hit the max damage super easily. It has a really slow startup on its attack and the range may not be the greatest but if you can close the distance from the bosses as they spawn or even in their second phase you can easily kill them with just this one attack. Every single combo ability on this build is important. It is best to apply the furious blow skill on your first combo ability as you can charge it up faster and launch the attack quickly as well. For a second combo ability you would want to use the moon slash. This ability is also super amazing. It can also hit up to 80 to 90k damage in total with both the attacks. It's a good ability to use if you may be running low on MP. Then for the third combo ability is best to use the brutal tackle. This ability does even more damage in total than the furious blow if you are able to land all the hits. All these three abilities are scaled off your stamina stat. So the higher your stamina the more damage these abilities will do. Across all your gear pieces the special effects you will need are strength, agility and near death damage dealt. There is no need to get more stamina stat as we are already hitting the max damage with the setup. So we get agility instead so we can make our dragoon jump stronger. If your damage is not going to 100,000 then add in stamina instead of agility. 
The command abilities we use are once again lunatic for faster attack speed. This will not only increase the attack speed but also increase the charge speed on our charge attacks as well. So it's important to use this skill. Then we have summon Tachi and Mighty Strikes for increased damage. If you're finding it difficult to maintain your MP, then add a Lancet so you can refill your MP pretty easily. Here's a look at our master points I used for the Dragoon. That is it for all the weapons and gear pieces you will need for this build. If you have all the affinities and the gear setup to how I have showed you, then playing any mission is going to be a breeze. On the smaller enemies, it's best to use the jump only. Nearly all the enemies should die and be soul bursted with only one jump. The jump also does damage in a small AoE attack, so you can take out multiple enemies with it as well. And for the bosses, literally any one of your 3 combo abilities is able to take out the bosses. Or any of the large enemies for that matter. They just do so much damage and they consistently will hit the max damage. Even the warrior light and Bahamut will be killed with one hit. The only two enemies that I've come across that can survive the 100k damage is the weapon Origin who seems to have a little over 100k health. Then the other enemy that can tank a 100k hit is the Mad Giga. He has the same amount of health as both phases of a boss fight so it looks around to be 200k. So best way to deal with this guy is to use a brutal tackle and break him. Since we have so much agility it's pretty easy. If you're ever finding it hard to maintain your MP, remove your summon Tachi skill and add in Lancet so you don't ever run out. Hope you guys enjoyed the build. This build has the potential to be even more stronger if the damage cap gets increased. It is still superior to the previous build which I was able to hit 100k damage on which was the breaker. So this build is now the most powerful melee build in the game. What did you guys think of this build? Let me know, I would love to hear from you all. I will catch you all next time.